not long ago, in some cabinetry far, far away, the distant Fennel Quadrant was plagued by a rash of greediness. of oxygen, 400 liters of water, and the egg we got from that space lizard. And let me say, it was delicious. Dude, alien egg? You ate that? It was for research. Wow, something's really kicking in there. I forgot my shovel. Can I borrow one of yours? Uh, no. I need an extra one just in case. Mr. Scallion, are you sure this is the right spot? Hi, Captain. Just as we suspected, this moon is chock full of the most valuable ore in the galaxy. Miwantium! Oh, Miwantium. Everybody wants that. And I'm sensing a huge chunk of Miwantium right under us. We're gonna be rich. Great! Then can you spare a shovel? No can do, Onion. Indeed we are! By the galactic law of finders keepers, I claim this moon in the name of the HMS Guacamole! Yay! Yay! Hold it right there! The Miwantium is mine! That's who? Says me being the perilous. <laughs> Sorry, but we already have our flag out. Oh uh, yeah, me too. We saw it first. I saw it first. No fair. Hey, I know. Why don't we wrestle for it? Actually, I heard him. Yeah, me too. Century. Ta -ta. Let's teach these bots some manners. Mr. Spork, ready the electro pulse ray and a few of those MNNs. With all due respect, Captain, these are my MNNs. With all due respect, I could use a treat. With yet more due respect, these are my treats. With another helping of due respect, I'm hungry and I'm the boss of you. Ha ha ha! Time to serve this apple pie! Taking care of you will be easy as pie! Ready the electro 
Electro Pulse Ray and give me those M&Ms. Go oh, for Pete's sake. Electro Pulse Ray fight! Hey, that's my button. <laughs> <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts. Hit him again. Stop it, Nichols. Stop it, Jack. Nobody does these two things in Paralys. Stop me, what the hell? What? Me think him, I still want an M&M. Look, I told you a million times. Would you two please stop? It's a wonder we ever get anything done around here. You never share your candy. You never share your pudding. <laughs> Under the galactic law of to the victor goes the Mewantium, I hereby claim this moon for Space Fleet. What? We claimed it under the law of finders keepers. Which, if I'm not mistaken, also goes on to state losers weepers. Look, Captain, this moon is huge. What about sharing? Yeah. yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, really? With cheese sticks? And the dipping sauce? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no I like the marinara. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Duty calls. Gotta go. Three to beam up. Beamer's in the shop. Ah. Anybody got a Tums? Stardate, Wednesday. We've kept the peace once again, settling a squabble over a cache of precious Mewantium. But no time to stand around on the bridge and feed the ducks. Headquarters has a new mission for us. Captain's log out. The captain, the transmission arriving. <gasps> Admiral Nezer! How did it go with the Mewantium miners? Any issues with, say, sharing? No problema. We won and the moon belongs to Space Fleet now. Speaking of sharing, Mr. Spork wouldn't give me any M&Ms. Well, Captain Q wouldn't... Don't want to hear it. No time for arguing. I need you in the distant Tutani system. Tutani? That's in the outer Fennel Quadrant. They have beaches and a very nice retirement village there, too. We've gotten reports that a dark shadow has fallen on that sunny planet. The shadow of a pillaging pirate we know as Luntar the Looter. Who are you? Yes, sir. Who are you? I'm who are you? I'm asking you who are you? That's who I am. Who are you? Well, I know who I am. The question is, who are you? You know perfectly well who I am. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just love that bit. Pull up everything you have on Luntar the Looter. I'll say our aliases include Luntar the Terrible and Luntar the Heartless. Whatever his name, he's been draining the power from every ship that passes by the planet. How? We don't know. We think he may have developed a new weapon. I need you to investigate and bring him to justice. We're on it, Admiral. He'll be no match for the apple pies. We're the fastest ship in the fleet with our twin tunic engines. Ziggy, engineer's report. Ah, uh, man, no worries. Easy living down here in the engine room. What's our power status? We got the tunics, man. Twin universal nuclear ignition cores. Two cores of pure miwantium. We got power to spare. He's so much more relaxed than that Scottish guy we used to have. Godspeed, Captain. Find this Luntar the Lugubrious and take him down. So say we all. Uh, so say you did. Lieutenant, who are you? Set a course for the two Tanny system. Yes, sir. Ziggy, take us to full war. Aye, Captain. Mr. Spork, look up the word Lugubrious. Engage! Can I get a straw for that? Jolly! When did you get in? Mom says hi! Ooh, pudding today! You want yours? I love pudding! Last one, boys! Mine! Call it! it. <laughs> As captain, you should make sure your crew is well fed! Nice try! We could share it! Sure! You can have the lid, I'll have the cup! <laughs> Perhaps a trade? Your pudding for a cup of my tasty green and blue jelly meat? I don't even know what this is. Hey, you guys have a straw you can spare? Sorry, this is my drinking straw, my backup straw, and my straw for stirring. All pretty essential. 
I wonder what this Luntar the Diabolical has hidden on Tutani. We need to be ready for anything. If he tries to siphon our power, we can lock on the source and calibrate our shields to block it. Good thinking. I love that smarty brain ears. Thanks. And I love pudding. Sure you can't spare a little? All right, fine. See you back on the bridge. This one's full. Dawn. Yeah, pal? Please hurry and change my battery. It's dying. I can feel it. Oh, sorry, pal. Totally out of batteries. That's why I carry extra batteries. Oh, well. Guess you'll just have to wait. No. First officer's log. As I observe our dedicated crew, I can't help but wonder if we're a well-oiled machine or perhaps a bit rusty. If only there was some way to make us better. I wonder, I wonder how we all could do a little more each day to help each other out or do a job without delay. I wonder if the answer is a gadget or a tool. Perhaps it's just a very simple rule. I can't reach it. Can I borrow your footrest? My feet are using it. <laughs> a formula or brand new protocol could help this ship and all its crew to walk instead of crawl. Hey, Tweaky, how's it going? Not too good. Could you spare a tire? I wonder if our rules should change. I wonder if it's time. I wonder if it's all about the stuff that we call mine, mine, mine. Approaching planet Tutani. Lieutenant, who are you? Let's see out the windshield. Hmm, this isn't sunny at all. No sign of this Luntar the Ripper offer? I'm not detecting any ships out there in front of us. Ah, good. Oh, but there's a big pirate ship closing in behind us. Ah, that's so good. The planet of Tutani thanks you for your generous donation. Donation of what? All your power. We can use that juicy space fleet engine for... Not on my watch. Mr. Spork, way ahead of you, sir. Ziggy, report to the bridge. True that, Mr. Spork. That was fast. Adapting shields to block it. Sit tight. This will all be over soon. Captain, you got a Phillips head. Forgot my screwdriver, man. Well, yeah, but this one's mine. Just need it for a quick twist. You said you had your own. Luntar the Grabby? Is that the best Space Fleet can do? Make up silly nicknames? We should call him Luntar the Sarcastic. Oh, sarcastic! Like I'm really gonna paint that on the side of my ship. Starboard engine is breaking too! I need options. Well, Captain, you can either share your screwdriver or retreat. Retreat! Space fleet cowards! If you ever want to see your luggage again, I'll take that engine cord! The USS Apple Pies was too fast for us, sir. They're out of range. They'll be back. In the meantime, I guess we all have new luggage, huh? And six flavors of yogurt. Should we really be taking on Space Fleet? Come on, Luna, don't be so blue. Ha! With my new super grabber, we can take on whoever we want! And the energy from just one of their engines could solve all our problems. Let's head down to the surface. Alert orbit patrol to watch for intruders. Yes, sir. I've never seen anything like that. I do not like that green bean. Aw, oh, man. Uh, no, not bean. Beam. Green beam. That was embarrassing. He took our luggage. All my captain socks and all my captain underpants. We can't defeat that weapon of his until we know more about it. Perhaps a covert scouting mission is needed. Yes. We go down to the planet unnoticed and poke around. How are you going to do that? We need to be invisible. To blend into the population. 
This will require the most sophisticated undercover work we've ever done. Are you sure this is going to work? If Tutani has beaches, it must attract tourists. So that's what we are. The cover is perfect. I've prepared this shuttlecraft with an excess of bumper stickers and inflatable pool toys. Ooh, the wood paneling is a nice touch. Thank you. Uh, who are you? Who are you? Who? Lieutenant who? I'm just messing with you again. Mr. Spork, uh, do you mind? I've never driven a station wagon. Hi, Captain. I'm too cool. Whoops. Game over, man. Game over. And now it's time for Silly Song with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Asteroid, 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 asteroid cowboy. Yeehaw! Oh, my little rocky doggie, your orbit has been stirred. Don't you dare be sneaking out, gotta get back in the herd. It's lonely. I do that. Come on, boys, that's a big one. I think it might be a little too big. Giddy up, Posse. Just one more today. Why do I chase these asteroids? I suppose it's just my thing. Big or small, I'll rope them all. So yippee ki yay, I sing. Yeehaw! We'll be tired. Never damp. But when you set up camp, it's impossible to light a fire. I think it might be that no air thing again. Yeah. You know, you can roast marshmallows on Earth. I want to be a cowboy on Earth. Uh-oh. Looks like a security checkpoint ahead. Security checkpoint? Act natural. Act natural! Uh, hi. We're... We're going on vacation! Woohoo! Gonna have me some vacation! Some vacaciones! Vacation! Woo! Right vacation, buddy? Uh, that's right. These are pictures of me, as a tourist. We don't need to see your pictures. Move along. Way to be natural there, Captain. Wow! Lots to see and do here, huh? Great place for spring break if it weren't so cold. What's up with the sun? It's awfully dim for a vacation planet. Oh, look at that. Look out! What was that? Popcorn meteorites! Scooter! Captain Cuke! How you 
you been? Been enjoying my retirement. So, what's with the popcorn meteorites? Intense solar storms have disrupted the popcorn belt. You ate that off the ground? Five second rule. It's the ring of popcorn around Tutani. You picked a delicious planet. Aye. Since it's your first time here, these maps will get you to all the hot spots. Uh, speaking of hot spots. Ooh, look at that. You can rent a bicycle or a paddle boat over there. What about a hover car? Those are solar powered, so they just don't run like they used to. What we really need is a guide to show us around. You can rent a tour guide right over there. Congratulations on your rental of solar powered t -Bot. Thank you, customers. I am t -Bot, your robotic guide to the sights and sounds of Titani. <sighs> Solar powered? Uh, Captain, I don't think the sun is strong enough to power her. Hang on, backup power. I'm so sorry to fall asleep. There's so much to see and do here. Tutani is known as the sunshine planet. The planetary flower is the sunflower. The planetary bird is the sun chicken. t -Bot, perhaps you could help us find a villain. Sorry, I don't understand. If you're looking for great food, why not try McDoodles, known for their deep fried sun chicken nuggets? This was a sponsored post. t -Bot, I'm freezing. Any place to get a jacket? Jackets are available to all residents of Tutani from Luntar, our leader and protector. Aha! How convenient. Follow the guards and we find the leader. Entrance to Luntar's lair is strictly forbidden to tourists. I wonder if there's a secret way inside. Stop! Hmm? You must come with us. May I suggest a brisk jog through one of Capital City's mini back alleys? Yes! <laughs> Mr. Sport, magnetizers. Hi, Captain. We need a vehicle. All hover cars are out of service due to lack of solar power. What about other power? I am equipped to share my generator for just such an emergency. Well, don't be shy. Fire it up. It would be my pleasure. Call me Luntar the Powerful. Well, you certainly aren't Luntar the Leave Us Alone. Something tells me we've met before. <gasps> Good disguises! Captain Cuke! Luna, it's been a while. Last blue moon? A beautiful evening on the blue bayou? Save the witty bloopers, Captain. I've heard them all. Should we interrogate these spies, sir? Or just throw them in a cell? You can't lock us up. Like in jail? Time to start singing the blues. Clever. They're space fleet, sir. We can use them as hostages for their ship. The only thing that's keeping you from disappearing in my dungeon forever is if you give up your ship's engine core. It's pure me wantium, and me want it. The engine stays in our ship where it belongs. And where is your ship right now? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, that's why I asked. They must be here to sabotage the super grabber. Is that the little science project you attacked us with? It's no little anything. It is my key to unlimited power. This super grabber, behold. Shiny, it's pretty. I'll give you that. Pretty, it gets me what I need. It has the power to get me power. Anyone can tell you that power is the key. Anyone that has it makes the rules for you and me. Now I grab the energy from batteries and wires, rocket fuel or gamma rays, whatever I desire. If you're near my super grabbing ray, you'll get, get your power sucked away. away. Anything worth having can be good for the grabbing, yes, anything with energy on that. If it runs on any power, then it's something I devour. I just point and grab. What's with all this power grabbing stuff? I'll keep grabbing, 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 grabbing till I have enough. Static, electric, and 
solar and gas. I'll swipe the energy from anything with mass. Charcoal briquettes, turbo jets, leftover candle wax. Propane, butane, methane, octane, certain spicy snacks. Electrons, protons, pumped up, photons, plus or minus charge. I'll use its force to spike the stores, minuscule or large. Anything worth having can be good for the grabbing, yes. Anything with energy I'll grab. If it runs on any power, then it's something I devour. I just point at grab. <laughs> well, you can't have my ship. We'll see about that. Take them away until they're ready to cooperate. Phone home. Phone home. It's no use. T-Bot, how can we escape? The cell walls of Luntar's dungeon hall. Hmm. I'm a half feet thick, lined with lead and a mile underground, this little hideaway is the ultimate in solitude. I wish I had the brochure. Uh, thanks? t why don't you spit out some blueprints of this place or a list of all the exits? I'm not programmed for jailbreaks. I could, however, record your desperate plea for help as a holographic message. Hmm, let's wait until that's our only hope. I can't live on food like this. There's not even a pudding cup. Get used to it. We're stuck here. I'll share with you. This is a pretty big sandwich. I could split it with you if you want. Luntar's locking up children? Will his horribleness have no end? I'm not locked in here, silly. My name is Oliver. I'm Luntar's nephew. Here. Uh, thanks. You realize you have a much smaller sandwich now? I know. Like half of it. You want a drink box? I got two on my lunch today. Uh, sure. So you're just giving one of those away? Yep. To us. Two guys you've never met. That's what you do. When you have enough to spare, you have enough to share. Now there's one box and two of us. So the two of you can... Fight each other for it? No. Find a way to clone it? No. Do the same thing I just did. Give it back to you? Don't you guys know how to share? The concept of sharing is logical. Hold on a second. Are you trying to butter us up to get information for your uncle, Luntar the Locker Upper? No, that's not his name. We all call him Luntar the Brave. He's fighting for the whole planet. The whole planet? I, I don't understand. Titani's son is dying. If a solution isn't found, it'll explode into a supernova and incinerate the entire planet. Supernova? Why is this the first time you're telling us this? It seemed like you were having such a lovely time. Luntar's been working day and night to gather enough power with the Super Grabber. If he has enough, he's hoping he can recharge the sun. So that's why he's grabbing power from every ship and machine. Oh, this messes up the whole mission. What if our mission has changed? Mr. Spork, we have our orders. We can't go changing them based on a singing little boy. No offense. What about saving our son? That's part of your space fleet duty, isn't it? If there's a solution, I'm sure we'll find it. But you gotta get us out of here first. Promise me you'll help us, and I will. Captain Zoth, we'll do everything we can to save your planet. Do, 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 do. Musical lock. You couldn't have figured that out? Good night, Annie. Good night, Clarence. 
You better take your umbrella. We're supposed to get more meteor showers tonight. If we can get back to the ship, I can analyze these pictures and figure out how to shut down that super grabber. You sure this is the only way out? Yep, it's okay. Everyone's gone home. Send another ship out. Except my Uncle Lentar. He likes to work late. Hide. We have to find the apple pies. We can't afford the fuel anymore, sir. Every ounce should be focused on that sun. What's the use? Our experiments were worthless. The sun grows darker every day. We've barely got enough energy to power our heat lamps. Should I prepare us all for evacuation? No, not yet. This is our home. A home that will be consumed in an exploding supernova. Space Fleet is already here. If we talk to them, they maybe... They help. Why would they? This is our sun and our problem. I'll figure it out. How will I figure it out? We're doomed. Oh man, he's turning into Luntar the Sympathetic. How did that happen? Uncle Luntar won't ask for help, but he needs it. We all need it. Gentlemen, I've located your shuttle. The bad news is, I'm detecting an oncoming storm of popcorn meteorites. We should wait inside for the storm to pass. No time, let's go. Ship. And there's the popcorn! Wait! Let me share my umbrella. It'll protect you and Mr. Sport. Don't you need it? Right now, you need it more. Thank you, Oliver. You're welcome. Well, they don't teach this at Space Fleet Academy. You'll have to go with my usual strategy. What's that? Run fast and scream a lot. Ah! Woo! We get incinerated. There's got to be a faster way to get in. Look out! <laughs> okay, that works. Prisoners escaping. Must sound the alarm and pursue. Correction. Must run and hide. Captain Cube to Apple Pie. We read you, Captain. We're on our way back. The mission has changed. Activate the table screen. Oh, hang on. We usually play games on this. Here we go. Houston, we have a problem. Well, Houston, give us some ideas. Well, don't look at me. Oh, I'm just an intern. Okay, then I'll have a coffee. We're out of coffee. Well, Houston, we have two problems then, don't we? Sir? Who are you? Who am I? I know who you are, who are you? Then stop asking. Why don't we just talk to Luntar? Luntar is still a desperate gourd. He attacked us once. He might attack us again, even if we try to help. We don't have much time. So what do we do? Hey, cats and kittens. Captain Cuke's camera captured some sweet pics of the grabber. I made a 3D scan from them and did a full analysis. That was fast. I skipped my Zumba class. Did you find a weakness? It's a simple reverse of the polarity, man. You put this part in backwards and boom! This super grabber don't grab no more. Aha! We can render Luntar completely helpless. I think he's already helpless. <gasps> Maybe the kid is right about Luntar. Isn't Space Fleet all about helping those in trouble? The moment we show up, he'll come after us. Ah, uh, he can't catch us with our twin inches, man. Remember, we got power to spare. Wait a minute. That's exactly what Oliver said. If we have power to spare, then we have the power to share. Now, now, just because it rhymes doesn't mean it's a good idea. Think about it. We have two tunics. We can give Luntar one and still use the other. What good will that do? Enough me want him fired into a sun would recharge it. We load the core like a big cannonball here. With the reverse polarity, this becomes a plenty good super slinger, man. The super grabber becomes a super shooter. A super sharer. I'm not giving up one of our engines. That's crazy. We'll have no way to outrun him. That's a risk we'll have to take. I just don't know if I can do it. Ooh. A sip for you, a sip for me. That's how God says it's supposed to be. Because if we have enough to spare, we also have enough to share. What do you say, Cuke? Share the power and save a planet? Luntar, the 
prisoners have escaped. What? Space Fleet is back and they're approaching orbit. <laughs> then ready my ship and power up the grabber! Apple Pie, straight ahead. Prepare the grabber. Sir, their shields are down. Stay on target. Stay on target. The Apple Pies is opening its Bombay door. Still approaching. Grabber on full power. Ready? Aim. Look, sir, they've launched a shuttle. They're hailing us with the truce flag. It's a trap. one engine, I'd say twice the usual time. No worries. You all can share some quality time. <laughs> share? You see what I did there? Good one, sir. That's why I'm the Admiral. Ha! You want crazy funny zucchini. If we have enough to spare, we also have enough to 